lesson for you today and today I'm going to show you one of my favourite Led Zeppelin songs which is called uh, Lemon Song which uh, is pretty much a rip off of Killing Floor by Howlin' Wolf but um, you know nonetheless they do a great version of it and uh, yeah we'll get straight into it. So this guitar is going to be in uh, standard tuning and we're going to start off with uh, this riff. And uh, you know it's quite a simple riff really. What we're doing is we're, we're playing um, the low E with our pick, and I'm using uh, that finger there, uh, middle finger, to kind of every time I, I play a note on this low E, I'm going to pick that open B string. So I'm going to go O. So that's O. It's going to be um, open E with that B. Then four, four on the E. Then to fifth. And then to seventh. And then, and then get the open again. So very slowly. That's. And then we're going to get the um, E seven sharp and nine chord, which is the Jimi Hendrix chord. So what we'll do, what, how you play that is basically um, you want the A string at the seventh. The D string at the sixth, G string at the seventh, B string at the eighth, and that's. So, so far, we've got this. So, as, as we play that, we we'll kind of slide it down, slide it down, and get a couple of open, open, like, like bring it up and then back it down on the low E. So. So that up to speed. And um, you know, I kind of do this kind of kind of thing. I kind of slide up and give it a bend. So if you want to do that, you can do. Um, and what I'm doing there basically is slide up to the uh, 16th on the low E and bend it. Give it some vibrato. So the way I play it is like this. Into the riff again. The second playthrough, there's a little little lick that goes like this. So, this, if this was the second playthrough, it'd be like this. So, what we're doing there is basically playing that same riff again, and then, but instead of sliding up to here, we're going. So, how we're playing that is basically uh, we're going to uh, play the two middle strings, which is going to be the D and the G at the seventh, and we're going to. And once we've played that twice, we're going to play the um, ninth of the uh, D string. So, and then play those two middle strings again and slide down. So that little part goes like this. So the next little riff that Jimmy Page plays um, goes like this. So it's basically the same same riff, the but this time we're going to do this. So what we're doing there is we're we're playing an open G, hammer on to the second and then the fourth of the G, play the third of the B, and then go. So that's going to be um, on the G string. Second to fourth, pull off the second to the open. So so far it goes. Then we're gonna go. 
and that's just the pull off from the second to open on the uh, D string. So that little part goes like this. And then we're back into our same riff again, but this time we're going to go in, which is going to be um, leading on into the A part because that part's going to be the E part. So what we're doing there is we're going to hammer on from the 5th uh, to the 7th on the A, get 5th of the D, and then we're going to hammer on from the 5th to the 7th again on the A and slide down. So that part goes. Then we're into the A part. So now we're into the A part, it goes like this. So it's pretty much the same, it's going to be the same riff on the A string as it was on the low E string, but this time it's just the A string, there's no, um, there's no plucked part with the right hand. So what we're doing is we're going to go open A to 4th of the A to 5th uh, of the A, hit the 7th, slide it down and kind of pull off, and then probably, in fact, don't pull off, uh, pluck the um, A, pick the A, sorry. So that slowly goes like this. So then we're going to play an A chord, and then we're going to bend that G note, which is going to be the third of the low E, up, up um, a tone to A, so, and down, so it's basically going, but we're bending it, so that little part goes like this. And we're back into the E part again. Then we're going to do this. So um, what that is basically, it's going to once we finish that, we're going to hit the fourth of the low E, then open A, first of the A, then we're going to play a, a B minor seven. And a B minor seven is pretty much we're going to bar the uh, second fret of, of the um, the A string down, and um, we're going to put that finger on the fourth of the, the D, on the, of the D sorry, and that of the uh, on the third of the B. So that's going to be. We can't only want note that part of it. So so that again slowly goes like this. We're kind of arpeggiating that, so we're going to. So once we've got that, um, we've hit the um, the second fret of the A. We're going to just keep going up. So that's going to be um, B G D B G D B G D. So that again goes like this. Then we're going to go to an A seven chord. Same picking uh, pattern, and an A7 chord is pretty much uh, open A. Uh, we're going to play second of the D, open G, and then second of the B. So, so, and that's just the same picking pattern. It's so that part slowly goes like this. slide up into this really cool little leg. Then we're going to kind of go to this cool little lick in E, e minor, it goes like this. Back into the riff, and so that little lick goes like this. doing there is we're going to bend the 15th of the B, up a tone and then give it some vibrato, and then do it again, up and down, end up on that 12th of the uh, B string, so, then we're going to go, so that's going to be a bend up and bend down on the 14th of the G, end up on the 12th of the uh, 
G. So that so far goes like this. And then we're going to go. So that's going to end up, we're going to be on the 14th of the uh, D string. Then we're going to go. So it's going to be 12, 13, 14 on that D string end. So end up on the 12th of the G. Back to the 14th of the D. And then give it, end up on the 12th of the D and give it some vibrato. So that, that little lick so far goes like this. Then we're going to do this. And all that is is going to be um, 12, 13, 14 on the A. End up on the uh, 12th of the D. So. And then end up on the 14th of the A and slide down. So that entire little lick goes like this. Then we're back into the riff. And um, he, he, he plays a similar thing on the second run through of that, and it's not quite the same, it goes like this. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it's, it's shorter. We're, we're doing the same. We're doing the same. So what we're doing there is we're going to be bending that 15th of the uh, B again, with some vibrato, then bend up, bend down on it again, go to the 12th of the B, and then bend up on bend up and down on the 14th of the G and then end on that 12th of, uh, sorry 14th of the uh, D and slide down so that's exactly the same but we, rather than carrying on the doing the rather than doing that we're just going to end on that so that very slightly goes so that's pretty much the main riff of the song and uh, the only other main part in that song it goes like this and this bit's pretty much ripped off from the um, Killing Floor by Howling Wolf version uh, and it goes like this so how we're going to play that is we're gonna we're gonna play the 16th of both the um, G and the E string. So we're gonna and whilst we're playing that, this finger is gonna be resting on the uh, the D string, so you don't get any you don't get a sound out of that. And it's also gonna be resting on the B string. So we get basically this is this is what we're getting. And when you play that quickly, it sounds like it's just those two notes being played. So once we played those 16th. Move it down two frets to the 14th, and then go to this shape. So that's going to be 13 of the G and 12 of the E. So that slowly goes. Then kind of go back up. And so that basically repeat that twice. And then we're going to go. So then we're going to go up to the 21st fret, uh, but pretty much the same shape of the E and the G string. So we're going to go. Then move that down to the 19th. And then move that down to, uh, that's going to be 18th of the G and uh, 17th of the uh, E. Pretty much the same thing, but moved up a little, moved up um, to A. So it's going to be. So, so far we've got this. Then we're going to go. So we're going to start off in that position. Then back down. And that's pretty much going from E to A. In a, in a 12 bar blues really so and that slowly again goes like this
Then we're going to do this. So what we're doing there is we're pretty much playing the um, 16th of the B and the 17th of the E. So then move that down by two frets. So that's going to be on the 14th of the B and the 15th of the E. Then move that down to um, uh, 9th of the B and 10th of the E. Then we're going to move it to the 4th of the B and the 5th uh, of the E. So that bit slowly goes. Then we're into the solo. So that bit very slowly again goes like this. So that's pretty much all the parts we'll need to play uh, the, the main riffs really for Lemon Song by Led Zeppelin. Uh, again, again, check out the um, Howling Wolf song uh, Killing Floor because it's pretty much the same song really. I think Zeppelin just ripped him off, and it's you know a cool version to be honest. So definitely check that out. And um, yeah, hopefully it was helpful. And I'll probably do this. this it goes on to a solo after these main these riff parts, and I'll probably go and do a, a lesson on that one day because it's a really cool solo that. And um, yeah, hope you hopefully you found this helpful. And um, if you found it helpful and enjoyed it, feel free to like it and subscribe and watch any of our bite-sized blues videos. So thanks for watching.